right, so we're going to write an equation from transformations. So they give us a picture. Um, it's a little small. Let's see if I can make that a little bit bigger. Okay. And it says write an equation for the quadratic function g, which they don't have it labeled, but this is g. And it's a transformation of that toolkit function, the quadratic function. Okay. And then they want us to expand the formula and simplify terms to write it in general form. So we're going to start out with it in standard form. So standard form. Um, one of the things would be, well, how are we going to find a? But let's write this out. Standard form f of x equals a x minus h squared plus k. That's standard form. Now we know where the vertex is. That we can see. So that's right there. And it looks like it's the point negative 2 comma negative 3. So I'm going to put those in for h, k. Um, yeah. All right. So f of x is equal to a, which we don't really know what a is. x plus 2. So let me erase that because sometimes that's a sticky point for students. It's minus, and remember h is negative 2. Remember this is my h and this is my k. All right. Squared plus, well, it's plus a negative 3, but I'll write it better here in a sec. Okay, so a x plus 2 squared minus 3. Okay, and that's what f of x is equaling. Now, how are we going to find what a is? We don't know that it is, you know, stretched or shrunk or, or compressed. Um, it looks kind of like it should have gone through, if, if a were 1, it should have gone through this point, right? But it's not going through that point. What we can do is find another point that looks like, you know, one we know. So I'm going to use this point right here, which is the y-intercept, right? So that's a nice point, 0, negative 1. So what we're saying is if we put in 0 for x, we should get negative 1 for y. This would be like my x, and this would be like my f of x. Okay? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say... Um, negative 1 is equal to a times 0 plus 2 squared minus 3. All right, then that I can simplify. Um, negative 1 equals 4a minus 3. Okay, so let's see. A little more space. Uh, if I add the 3 over, then I'm going to have 2 equals 4a. And so I'm going to get a to be 1 half. Do I believe that a should be positive? Yes, because it's a right side up parabola, so I'm okay with that. So now in standard form, we can go over here and write it. I have f of x is equal to 1 half x plus 2 squared minus 3. Okay, so far so good. That's part of it. That's the equation in standard form. But now they asked us to uh, multiply it out and simplify to get it in general form. So we're keeping the f of x. That's part of the general form. And then we're going to have to square this binomial. That's going to be x squared plus 4x plus 4 minus 3. Now you could um, either write x plus 2 times x plus 2, or you could use the smiley thing where you square this. You multiply and double and then square the other one. But whatever works for you. You've got to be able to square a binomial. At this stage in the game, that's we're counting on you to know how to square a binomial. Okay, now I'll distribute the 1 half. So I get 1 half x squared plus 2x plus 2 minus 3. So one more step. A little more room. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to get f of x equals 1 half x squared plus 2x minus 1. And that would be then, in general form, 
where I have the A and the D and the C, if anybody asks. Okay, so standard form, we found the vertex, then we had to figure out what A was, and in order to do that, we needed another point. Then once we found out what A was, we could write the equation in standard form. So this is standard form. Then to get it in general form, we just multiply everything out and simplify it, and we get this down here is the general form.